off your Spotify and head to your local record store. Today's the day to celebrate the style, culture, and art of music on National Record Store Day. What's old is new again, and you may have noticed local record stores and vinyl records are coming back in a big way. Now, vinyl suffered a huge collapse in popularity when CDs hit the scene back in the 80s, but it never went away completely thanks mostly to DJs who favored them for spinning hip-hop and dance music. And keeping on the same topic, many music fans say they prefer the large cover art and liner notes that come with records, while others swear it just sounds better. So we sent producer turned reporter for the day, Bailey Baker, to find out if it's true. Hey, girl. That is me, guys. And there's exciting things happening out here in Davis. It is record store day, and we are at Armadillo Music. And it, uh, more than 100 people lined up on, uh, outside the stop this morning before it opened at 9 o'clock, all for the chance to get an exclusive album. Talk about what is happening today. So basically, the, the company Record Store Day releases albums that are exclusive to today. If you don't get one today, you don't get one, unless you buy it secondhand offline or something like that. But they're limited releases. So what you see is a bunch of really hardcore music fans that want things like, you know, Fleetwood Mac alternate takes because that's the stuff that people are looking for is because they already have the Fleetwood Mac album, but they want these alternate takes on vinyl. And it's really all about vinyl records. Okay, and you said to me earlier today that this is probably one of the biggest crowds you've seen so far? Yeah, the thing is with vinyl is it's really taken off and I think it's a younger crowd that's discovering the intimacy of spending time with records. To sit down with music is its own thing again. For a long time it was secondary, it was wallpaper, it was something that you did while you were doing something else. Now it's totally okay to sit down with a record, a Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon, and experience that record you and the artist or you and your friend and the artist and so it's making it more intimate again it's very cool what would you your advice be for someone who is just getting into vinyl uh do your online research learn a little bit about record players and that sort of stuff ask yourself why you're getting into records if you really want to make music primary again that's a great reason to get into it um the nice thing is about records is that they're around they're plentiful um they're fun and if they have any questions, come into your local record store, whether it be in Sacramento or Davis or wherever, and talk to the people behind the counter. They know how to get you the stuff you want and how to get you comfortable with the format. Once you're comfortable with the format, it's a blast. Okay, you said before they sell out because you only get a certain amount of copies. How, um, how late are you guys open today and where can people find you? We are open uh, till 10 o'clock tonight. And we are at 207 F Street in downtown Davis. Keep in mind, it is also picnic day in Davis, which is an absolute zoo in and of itself. We're open tomorrow from 11 till 6, so a lot of people, it's funny, we do a lot of business the day after picnic day because people want to come in and see the store after something like this. They hear about the buzz, they look on social media, they watch television, they see this, and they go, well, I want to go check it out. So just be leery of the fact there's a parade today and there's a lot going on in Davis. All right, you guys heard it, heard it here first. We are going to be sticking around, check out some of the albums, and then if you guys need anything, just text me. Back to you guys. Um, just so you know, Bailey, we did get an email in where a gentleman said his name is Tom in Elk Grove. He said he was only sticking around to watch you on location. So, people be loving them some Bailey. Some Bay Bay. Thanks, Bay. Bye.